the child, the greater the likelihood that their behavior is not a willful behavior. The behavior is nothing more than a symptom of an unsolved problem. Generally, the unsolved problem for children is unmet needs or a lack of skills. They don't have skills that the environment is demanding of them or that their needs have not been met consistently or not met at all. Much the same way, we could say, okay, so we're going to use an externally motivated system of behavior management, whatever that is that people choose to use. It will stop some of the behavior. The problem is it doesn't address the cause of the behavior, so the behavior is going to resurface either in its same form or in a much more complex or complicated form down the, down the road. This child was in the classroom, and I noticed some things about him. So I said to him one day, I said, Caden, can I tell you something, buddy? And he said, yeah, Janine, what? And I said, Caden, there's two things I noticed about you. And he looked at me and he said, you notice me, Janine? And I thought, that in itself tells you there's unmet needs. Like, he feels he's unnoticed. So I said, yeah, Caden, there's two things I noticed. The first thing I noticed is that, you know, when, when your teacher calls you to come to the group meeting in the morning, you come the first time you're called. After you get to the, to the morning meeting, you hurt somebody. Other kids your age that I talked to told me why they did things like that. He said, Janine, you can't get dirty. What happens when you get dirty? You get a whooping. Who whoops you, Caden? My dad. So when you hurt somebody, Caden, what does your teacher say to you? Caden, sit over there. Hmm. And when you sit over there, you get to sit on a chair, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And when you sit on a chair, Caden, you don't get dirty. But if you sit on the floor, you might get dirty, right? Yeah. So you like it when your teacher says, sit on the chair. Yeah. I went back to the teacher and I said, he hurts kids because he can't get dirty. Because if he gets dirty, he gets a whooping and that doesn't feel good. But when you sit him in the chair, he doesn't get a whooping because he doesn't get dirty and that feels better. What is the unmet need? She looked at me and she said, I don't know what his unmet need is. I said, it's a need for safety. He needs to know that he stays clean so he doesn't get a whooping. It's a need for safety. That's a basic and authentic need. And it is our responsibility as an educator in the life of that child to ensure that there is safety for our children. She looked at me and said, you're tough. I said, no, I'm not tough. It just makes sense that we would meet the needs of children and teach them the skills they don't have rather than discipline them and label them as bad kids because they lack both of those things. It's the adult responsibility to teach those. Mm -hmm.